Yeah, it just takes a second. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for the GK Tech bolt on angle kit, what you get sent in the box is two of the dust boots, two of the bolt on angle kits, and then a little baggie of nuts and washers. So it's not mandatory that you run the dust boot but if you would like for it to work the best that it can the longest it can you will definitely want to throw the dust boot on and that's what we're doing now that is the ackerman adjustment <clears throat> and i'm doing the dust boot kind of a pain in the butt Essentially, you just stretch it. So that is essentially how it sits, and then you want to make sure that the divot goes back in like so. And then we are going to try with Les Ackerman first and adjust accordingly at the track. The washers are your bump steer adjustment. We have already done the other side, so we know just a middle balance setting is what gets the kit most parallel with the lower control arm. Now once you have that piece back together, you want to grab your Loctite. If my hands weren't oily and I could open it, Give yourself a nice healthy dose. And this is a 18 mil. So once you get it on, I would recommend leaving it just hand tight until you're done with the install and ready to torque it. From there, you take the caliper and the rotor off. Once those are off, because we're moving the dust boot and not just trimming it, that's why we're just going straight to this instead of marking where it needs to be trimmed. So, and that gets tossed. And from there, you can go through and disconnect the cotter pin for the outer tie rod, or the tie rod end. Take care of that. And then back there is just a little lock pin. Now the, the cotter pin is out, you can take the castle nut off. It is a 19. And then to break it loose, if you just turn the castle nut upside down, get it flush, you can hit it with a hammer, that'll pop it out, or you can hit the side, that'll knock it loose. You'll want to go through and grab that nut which is also a 19 break that loose so you can adjust the lower control arm and get that out of the way of the bolt-on angle kit all right once you pop that out break loose the lock nut 
take the tie rod end off. All right, so after you get the LCA removed from the hub assembly, or at least loose to where you can drop it down when you go to put the actual kit on, you'll have this nub here that you have to grind off. When you test fit, you'll be able to mark exactly where on the dust shield and where on the nub to grind it down. Once it is ground down, you'll want to throw some paint on it. This is essentially how it will look when you are doing the kit and getting the LCA to come through. Make sure you put the washer under the kit. So in between, essentially, the hub assembly and the kit. And then after you get that squared away, lock tight the nut. Use your 18 mil to get it nice and snug. And then that will get torqued down to 37 foot pounds. Then we will come over here to do this guy. Again, make sure you Loctite it. But it will come through the bottom. Might have to grab a mallet or a hammer to get it through. Now once this is Loctited and on snug, that also gets torqued down to 37 foot-pounds. Then we come down to this bottom bolt here that gets torqued to 65 foot-pounds. Once you get everything torqued down and thrown back together, go out and enjoy your angle. This is stock wheel spec just aftermarket wheels slightly bigger tires and it does rub pretty bad so we're trying some wheel spacers that come in tomorrow but in the meantime we're just gonna go enjoy the car